Today we're exploring the La Jolla Sea Caves. We started off here at Sunny Jim's Cave Store, walked down along the dirt path and down the rocks. I recorded this over a few different days. Here's the time we entered with three R's. Unlike these guys, we sat and watched the surf for a bit and entered in between sets. These are the different caves that I'm going to show today. Clams Cave, Sunny Jim's, Arch Cave, we did the breakdown pile, and then we went in through White Lady. The first cave we're going to enter is Sunny Jim's. It's just to the right after you enter off the rocks. This is also the cave that you can walk down to from the cave store, and I highly recommend it. We sat outside the cave for a bit, watching the surf and waiting for a calm time to enter. If a wave does roll in on me, I face the wave and point my feet towards the rocks. If I get pushed into the rocks, I don't want to go head first. This also gives me the opportunity to swim towards the wave and get under it. Last time I tried to come in here, there was a big male sea lion. I didn't notice him until he started barking, but I turned around and left as fast as I could. And then on the way back out, I sit, watch the surf, wait for a break in the waves, and out I go. Next, we went through the shotgun. Sometimes a larger swell will come in and push you right through. Whenever I'm snorkeling around the caves, I like to come in full gear, full wetsuit, gloves, hood. The reason being is the rocks are sharp. There's a lot of growth on the rocks that are sharp. As you're going through this shotgun, if a swell comes in, it can push your head into the ceiling, so you need to put your hands above yourself and protect your head. You don't want your hands to get cut up as you're heading through. I've seen it happen. Don't forget that conditions need to be really calm to get close to these caves. Next, we went into Arch Cave. During a low tide, there's another exit off to the left, but not today. Next up is the big breakdown pile. So after waiting for a few minutes for a lull in the surf, I headed in, dragged my camera across the rocks. I really got to figure out a better way to do that. Once I was inside, I found a lobster trap. And way in the back, it looked like there were some stalactites. And then on to the next one. Next up is White Lady. One tip when you're heading up through these rocks is to swim in and then climb up to a dry point on the rocks. Because a dry place on the rocks is a place where the waves aren't crashing. At that point, you're more likely to be safe from the surf. I believe White Lady gets its name from these white mineral deposits built up in the back of the cave that supposedly look like uh, a woman in a wedding dress or I'm not sure. I never saw it, but I believe that's where it came from. And now we're making our way back out. Time to head out, getting through that surf zone as fast as we can. Mm -hmm. 
clam cave is the most popular cave in La Jolla. If you take a kayak tour here on a calm day, they'll actually take you inside. Starting in October, you'll see the sea lion pups playing around in here. That's a lot of fun to watch. It's calm in here now, but it can get rough, especially further back in the cave where it gets shallower. Off on the right hand side, there's a smaller cave. Sometimes you can get in here, sometimes not. If I brought my video lights with me today, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see anything. It really depends on the surf and the tide. If an unexpected swell comes through, it can get pretty bad in here. It can push you up to the ceiling, you have to hold your breath till the water goes back down, it can slam you into the rocks. I talked to one of the regular swimmers here, and he pointed to a bunch of scars on his leg and said, yeah, it can be dangerous. You can see the water's getting pretty close to the ceiling here. If the tide was much higher, I wouldn't be in here. I'm about to swim through here, and I timed it with an incoming wave, so it would push me through instead of having to fight it. So you can also exit this cave through the back and swim around through this area called Emerald Cove. But I'm not going to do that today. Always remember that you can be out here on a calm day and then out of nowhere a bigger swell will come through. I kayaked here with a buddy one time on a calm day. Everything was fine and we kayaked into the cave and then a crashing wave came in and toppled us off our kayaks and it was completely unexpected. The kayak tours do it right. They'll take you inside, but they'll also have someone on the outside keeping an eye on the swell. 